everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I am your host, Nicholas Blaylock. And I'm your host, Adam Pedal. And today, guys, should the Toronto Blue Jays sign Clayton Kershaw? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a crazy idea. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to use the code TODAYJAYS to get discounts and deals on Monkey Knife Fight. Yeah, baby. All right, so this is a crazy, crazy idea. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. I never really thought we'd really be in on Clayton well, Kershaw. I've always but, seen him in blue. Know? I just didn't expect it to be Blue Not Jays blue. blue. Yeah. So give me your thoughts on Clayton Kershaw. Well, I mean, let's face it, guys. Clayton Kershaw is obviously a future Hall of Famer, and last year was one of his worst years in a little while, but it was still pretty damn good when you look at the statistics. We're talking about a 1 or 121.2 innings pitched, 144 strikeouts, 3.55 ERA, and a whip just over 1. And I also want I wanted to look at some of the uh, expected numbers, some of the other things. Everything is beautiful for Clayton Kershaw, dude. Like, mm -hmm. he does not walk anybody. He's in the 97th percentile when it comes to walk rate. Like, all the percentiles are really good. Expected ERA was a solid 3.15, which is far lower than what his actual ERA yeah. was. So I was like, oh, like, something's got to be going on here, right? It's like, this doesn't all add up. And I looked at it. He was dealing with a big elbow with, thing. Yep, yep. He was injured for like half of the season. Then he came back in September and October. He had like four starts. Mm -hmm. And like that really inflated the ERA. It felt like they mm -hmm. kind of pushed him back because they wanted to like get him ramped, ramped up for playoffs. He wasn't fully ready. He did let up a, a few runs there. But really, Clint Kershaw, I think he's still a stud when he is like fully healthy. Yeah, and any team should want to go after Clayton Kershaw, right? You would imagine so. You would imagine so. Do you think that the Toronto Blue Jays could be one of them? Do you think the Dodgers are going to be in on this guy? Like, like I, I, well, it, it feels like we haven't really yeah. talked about Kershaw too much. No. We've all been like Rodon and like yeah, Freeman. Yeah. And it's just because like it's so out of the blue. But like, is this right. possible? Like, yeah, no, I agree. This is really out of the blue, guys. So don't don't chirp us in the chats. This is this is like quite a left field. But I don't think so. I don't think the I don't think it's a possibility for the Toronto Blue Jays because Why? because the Dodgers definitely need Kershaw back. Okay, mm. that's one person that's going to want to pay him up because he's gonna, he's worth thirty one point eight million dollars, right? Okay, and the, and the Dodgers can afford that. We can afford that too. Mm -hmm. But the Dodgers can be more desperate because they're so used to the beautiful rotation. Mm. Is as even though I'm going to name some pretty good elites right, right here, right, right, right. This is not what we're used to for the Dodgers. Mm. For next year going into it, only locks they have right now are Bueller and Urias, mm. and they're really great. Mm -hmm. But we don't know about Bauer's situation. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. Dustin May's got Tommy John, David Price. Is he washed up? Right. They are probably going to pay for this guy, and I bet a lot of other teams that have a lot of money to spend are also going to pay a lot for this guy. That is very possible, dude. Now I I was to counter that point a little bit, and I understand that this is the LA Dodgers like do they even give a crap about this they are right now if things don't change with like the whole salary cap they are over it for 2022 mm -hmm. now again this is the LA Dodgers that we're talking about here like they can probably make some concessions they can do some like like math right there to make things happen that's definitely possible the Blue Jays though we have some money we could go out and get somebody like this. We're talking about Rodon. We're talking about Freeman and everything like that. I think that Clayton Kershaw would be a far more significant add, in my opinion, than a Freddie Freeman, for instance, or a Chris Bryant. Now, I know that the infield is definitely a problem for us, like that third baseman spot. Like, we do need a Chris Bryant-esque. But Clayton Kershaw on the Blue Jays, would that not make our rotation oh, maybe absolutely. like the best? Best in baseball? It would. It would. No, oh, I think actually, hundred percent. It would. Like it, you got yeah, things though, right? But I, the realistically, realistically, I don't think it would actually happen. Mm. Um, because you're also trying to convince Clayton Kershaw, who is an absolute Hall of Fame legend, right, to come to Toronto. And yeah, we have a great team, but this guy's also from Texas. Mm. And there's a team out there known as the Texas Rangers. Mm. And the Texas Rangers are out here splashing money everywhere mm -hmm. because this guy's going to require a big splash. He might get like Max Scherzer type money he on might. a three to four year he deal, could, yeah. $35 million. And I don't know if that is another guy that we want to add as a Toronto Blue Jays into that rotation. Whereas the Rangers, mm. they need someone like that. Mm -hmm. They need someone to show their prospects right now. A lot of young rotation arms that they have, a lot of young bullpen arms. They need someone like a Kershaw to go into teach them the ropes, be a veteran presence, just like they're going to do with Marcus Semien and even Corey Seager as well. So that is a perfect place. And like I said, he's from Texas. He'd probably want to go there Okay, too. okay. Let me paint you the picture right here, though. 
Hanjin Ryu, the former Dodger, you know, he calls up his buddy on the phone. He's like, yo, Clayton, what's good, dude? Let me tell you, it's Toronto. Strip, uh, striplings in the back. Hey, hey Ryu. <laughs> hey, hey, Clayton, what's up, dude? You know what's good? Toronto. Hey, here's, the, here's what I'm saying right now. I understand that he's going to cost a lot of money, guys. He is definitely going to command some dollars, but he just came off of a mm -hmm. three-year, uh, I think it was $93 million contract that he just came off. I could see something very similar mm -hmm. uh, uh, coming from for Clayton Kershaw, something around those lines. Three years, $100 million maybe. Mm -hmm. That's something that I actually would be willing to pay because you got to think if we do something like that, that kind of works with our window a little bit. You know, it's just like we're not committing too long term. So it's like mm -hmm. we can still sign the young boys back. We might have the best rotation in all of baseball for mm -hmm. those three years, assuming that Kershaw is healthy, assuming mm -hmm. Burrios is good and maybe Manoa is good as well. It's like Ryu comes off the books in a year. I know it's fantasy land, but like <laughs> this is, I think that yeah, this yeah. could be possible. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not because there's going to be a ton of other bidders. But like, like if it was a three year, hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, I'd take it. I would definitely take it. You know, I just like you know ex exactly, and and I think that like when the CBA is over, there's an agreement, the lockout ends, and there's going to be a scramble for pitchers. Mm -hmm. The Rangers are going to say, "Here's forty million a year." Could be, you know, yeah, or, yeah. Rangers or, or could definitely the Dodgers, do or who knows, right? Could be, yeah, could so, could be the Dodgers so, too. So that's why I'm like. That's why I'm like leaning that they're if, not gonna. Out. If that was the case, like if he is getting to that AAVs, for instance, like that may be problematic for the Blue Jays. That could be an issue for us. For me, it's all about the years. If it's three years, though, I'm like throw the money at it. Oh yeah, throw all the money so, at it. If so it's three I guess years. if the question is, should the Blue Jays sign him? Yeah, they should. Heck yeah. You know, but will like, they? Will they probably no. not? Will they I guess probably that's not? We're different again. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Our difference like, right we, yeah, no, I, I do agree with you. <laughs> yeah, just because yeah. realistically, I agree with you too. there's going to be so much competition for yeah. this guy. The Dodgers will be in on him. You got to imagine like some other pitching uh, teams will be in on him. I was looking at the Braves and I was like, hey, if yeah. the Braves aren't going to go out and sign Freddie Freeman back, hey, why don't we just get another Hall of Famer yeah. in our pitching rotation Trade and just Olsen. shore up that? Trade for Olsen. Trade for Olsen. Yeah. Sign freaking Clayton Kershaw. Dumb. That would be perfect for the Braves. You wouldn't the World Series by doing yeah. that. There is going to be a lot of suitors for this guy, and you're right. I don't think that the Blue Jays are going to do it. Should they? If it's a three-year deal, I will throw the bag at Clayton Kershaw to have yeah. the best rotation for three years. Dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, guys, should they throw the bag at Clayton Kershaw? We want to hear your comments down below. Yes, guys. Also, shout out to our Patreon members. $3 a month to become a Patreon member. You guys keep the ball rolling. Look at all of our beautiful Woo! people. These are the names. You guys are awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh! Go Jays, go! go.